Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live Daily News here exclusively on YouTube. And we're going to talk about the breaking news here. I am now back in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, back from Mexico. And we are going to be talking about the biggest breaking news every single day. Now, the Dow and the NASDAQ both struggling with a slow day, finishing slightly in the red. Seems as though this has been the trend over the last little while. It seems like the markets have been really, really slow. And we've been in this slow period for quite some time now. And it just doesn't want to go away. It seems like this is going to be the way it is for the next little bit. And you can see we are definitely slightly red. And the TSX also slow with it slightly being in the green. So trading volume is really slow. It's summertime. People are on vacation. The Fed... 750 rate hike basis points stands for basis points. Powell press conference, US PCE inflation date, GDP. So this is all big in the news. And Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta earnings. So huge earnings. Stay tuned for that. And Bank of America, UPS, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, XOM, CVX, Chevron, Visa, MasterCard results. So stay tuned. We'll keep you guys posted on as they come. News to keep your eye on that are high impact and medium impact. So CB, which is consumer confidence, high impact news. So be careful while taking a trade as the news comes out. Market is extremely volatile right now. And there isn't a ton of volume because we're in the middle of the summertime and everybody's on vacation. Reason traders care about this news is financial confidence is a leading indicator of consumer spending. So keep your eye on that, which accounts for a majority of overall economic activity. So we will be watching that very, very closely, and you should be watching it too. Richmond Manufacturing Index Medium Impact News. So still be cautious as you take a trade during the news release. We'll keep you updated here at Rich TV Live. Subscribe to Rich TV Live for all updates 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Key events to look out for in the week ahead. So we're going to be watching all the news on Tuesday. Earnings coming out from Microsoft, Google, Visa, UPS, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. Wednesday, durable goods, pending home sales, Fed rake height happening Wednesday. We told you about that expected 0.75 basis rate hike and goods pending home sales fed rate hike powell speaks meta facebook uh, ba and also expect ford we think ford is really beaten up so we're going to be watching that very closely thursday gdp jobless claims apple amazon and intc Full disclosure, I have shares in Amazon and Roku, LUV, MA, which is everyone knows what MA should be. We all know what Visa is. American Express. That's right. MA is American Express. And Friday, PCE, inflation. And watch out for XOM, Chevron, CVX, PG, and CL. And we're going to go through some charts to analyze right now. We love looking at the charts of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So must remind you to do your own due diligence, do your own research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. You can go and join our ecosystem at richtv.io, join our website and love to know your opinion on what we are doing and love to get your opinion. Do you agree with what we were saying? Do you agree with our analysis? And remember, do your own due diligence, do your research and past performance is not always an indication of future results. Now let's take a look at a couple of charts. All right, so real closely, we're gonna look at Ethereum and Bitcoin. So Ethereum, first and foremost, the chart on the left, you can clearly see that Ethereum just had a nice little run up here uh, to $1,600 and $1,669 actually, and has come back down now where it stands right around $1,523. The low zone is about 1460. The high of the zone is about 1660. And we're right now sitting near the lower part of the zone 
at around 1524, 1523 right now as we speak. And that's on the one hour chart. If we look at the one year chart, you can clearly see that Ethereum is down heavily from its peak of where it was last November. And now we're going into the fall. So the real question is, do we see it make another run back to those all time highs? Now, when we look at Bitcoin, you can see similarly, it's been above 2300 and been as low as 216, 215 today. And right now sitting right at 22,100. So very volatile for Bitcoin, but overall you can see it is heavily down with a high of 69,000. Like I said, as of November of last year, and we're going into the fall now as summer ends and we get through the last month of summer and we go into the fall. The question is, will we see another huge rally for Bitcoin in the fall like we had last fall where we saw Bitcoin hit its all-time highs of 69,000? Full disclosure, I'm a shareholder of Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, and we bring it to you first. What do you think of the news? What do you think about the analysis? Comment down below. It's your host of the most, your boy Rich. And remember, if you want to get rich, you can get rich with Rich here exclusively at Rich TV Live. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and go to our website, richtv.io, and learn to trade stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, real estate, and so much more. It's your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Peace.